Hi there, welcome to this week's WeatherQuest farming forecast. I thought we'd start this week's video by taking a look back over last week. This is the radar estimated rainfall accumulations over the last week. And you can see for most places, a bit of a northwest southeast split, much of the many fronts sort of pushing into Ireland and much of Scotland, where the greatest rainfall totals have been over the last week. But further sort of uh, south and east over England and Wales, um, for the most part, it's been much drier. You can obviously see there is an exception to this across western parts of of East Anglia. We had um, some heavy and thundery showers breaking out here on Sunday. Very slow moving. Many places saw rain for persisting for much of the day and some places recording up to 80 millimetres of rain in parts of Suffolk. So quite a wet day for many places there, but otherwise quite a northwest southeast split for that week as a whole. Now looking back for the whole of September, so the last week plus the previous two, you can see that the sort of northwest southeast split is a general sort of um, vibe that we've got going on across this map with the greatest rainfall totals across Ireland and Scotland, while England and Wales generally much of it in these sort of greener colours, so less in the way of rain here. Obviously the, the first week of September very settled, very much dominated by high pressure. The second week was sort of more widely unsettled, spells of rain pushing into England and Wales, and that's when we saw a lot of this rain and then obviously we had last week um, and let's see how this has affected the rainfall anomaly for the month so far so this is how much has fallen compared to average and you can see across this map a large amount of brown colors here indicating that has been drier than average for many places even though we have had quite a few spells of rain at times you can notice the obvious exception western parts of East Anglia, the spattering of blue here indicating uh, wetter than average conditions for the month so far. Um, and this is just due to the amount of rain that we, that we saw there on Sunday, some places recording um, you know, over a month's worth of rain within that 24 hour period. So quite wet for those places, but elsewhere a much drier than average month so far. But is that set to continue? Let's take a look at the weather, starting with the jet stream, which is currently quite sort of far to the north of us, pushing areas of low pressure um, well to the north of us. So that's why we've sort of seen fronts in parts of northwestern areas. But as the week progresses, the jet stream is gradually shifting its way southward. So although we've got high pressure sort of ridging in from the south at the moment, although that's currently built, as we go towards the weekend, the jet stream moves further south and it starts to steer areas of low pressure more towards us. So let's take a look at the forecast for tonight then. So we've got high pressure centered to the southwest, so keeping conditions relatively settled for many places. Um, for much of England and Wales, a dry night expected, um, plenty of clear skies around, perhaps leading to a few mist and fog patches could be slightly cloudier across parts of Ireland and Scotland, where I think by the end of the night could just see the odd spot of rain as this cold front begins to progress into northwestern areas through the day on Wednesday. And as we go through Wednesday, that will gradually move its way southeastwards across parts of Ireland and parts of Scotland. Um, but as it goes, you can see a lot of breaks in that front, so weakening as it goes. And by the end of the day on Wednesday, many parts of sort of northern in southern Scotland, northern England, really not seeing much rain left on that front. Elsewhere on Wednesday, generally another dry and bright day once any early mist or fog patches have cleared under this ridge of high pressure. Looking further ahead into Thursday, still similar setup, high pressure out to the southwest. This weak frontal boundary will continue to spread its way southeastwards, but as I said, really not too much rain on that at the moment. So I think, you know, some thicker cloud, maybe the odd spot of rain here and there, but not too much from that. You can see sort of further fronts spreading into parts of Scotland at times as well. So some patchy rain here, but for many places there will be dry and bright spells through Thursday. And then into Friday and indeed sort of further ahead, still got the same sort of pattern going on, um, high pressure out to the southwest, um, ridging up and keeping many sort of parts of England and Wales on the drier side of things. You can see these sort of weak frontal boundaries pushing into northwestern areas on Friday. And then indeed, as we go into Saturday, we get this area of low pressure approaching. So pushing some longer spells of rain perhaps into northwestern areas by the end of the day on Saturday. But otherwise, um, many places in, in the south and east staying on the drier side of things as we go towards the weekend. Um, couldn't rule out the odd shower in places, but for many places, it will be a dry week. 
Now, looking at the spraying opportunities over the next few days, the green colours here showing ideal spraying conditions, so light winds and no rain, you can see they're generally confined to southern areas as these are the places that will be drier with sort of less in the way of strong winds. Up in the north where we have those weak frontal boundaries at times where it's going to be slightly wetter and slightly breezier, less in the way of good spraying conditions. So southern parts are better, but there will still be maybe the odd spot of rain, some stronger winds at times. So if you are looking to do some spraying, the best thing you can do is to speak to our forecasters. We're available every day from 6 a.m. till 6 p.m. The number to call is 09065 We always love to chat to you, very friendly bunch. So do give us a ring if you have any questions, if you're trying to plan um, some spraying or perhaps uh, drilling some crops, we're always happy to speak to you. So looking a little bit further ahead then, towards the end of the weekend, the beginning of next week, so Sunday, Monday kind of time, we've got low pressure centered to the north. And this is that cold front that was beginning to edge into some places um, by the end of the day on Saturday. And through Sunday and Monday, the general idea is this cold front will spread southeastwards across the UK. Um, so some uncertainty still on the timings and when it will be in certain places, but it does look like we could have quite a bit of rain on that initial cold front. Once that clears eastwards, we generally turn to a brighter, breezier and cooler feel with more in the way of showers here you can see those out to the west so turning more showery once the initial front has cleared and then making way for a bit of an unsettled changeable week next week so taking a look at the chance of a dry day chart this reinforces a lot of the things that we've been saying so far in this video you can see here a lot of the brown colors indicating those drier conditions a high or very high chance of a dry day for many places over the next few days under that ridge of high pressure, generally much of England and Wales in those brown colours there, whereas sort of further north across, across parts of Scotland and Ireland, we've got more in the way of those green colours there, so those frontal boundaries spreading in bring spells of rain. And then from Sunday, Monday kind of time, you can see those green colours becoming much more widespread across the chart. So um, a low or a very low chance of a dry day for many places as that cold front spreads south eastwards. And then we start to see more showery, more changeable conditions and further spells of rain for the following week. One thing I would point out, though, is down here in the in the southeast, we do have quite mixed conditions. You know, we've still got some some highs in there, high chance of a dry day, some medium. So not quite as set in stone here. So it's difficult to say how much rain we'll actually see down here in the southeast. But elsewhere, it does look like a much sort of wetter and more changeable week. And just glancing further forward, you can see that that pattern really does continue in many northern and western areas. Um, but as we go sort of towards the start of October into towards mid-October, we start to see a return of these brown colours, these higher chances of a dry day. So slightly suggesting that things could start to settle down, but confidence is low at this stage. So taking a look at the monthly forecast, this is for week two, so next week, the unsettled and changeable week. No surprise that we have lower than average pressure expected for the UK throughout this week and a knock-on effect that that has on the precipitation anomaly as well. So there's green colours widely across the map indicating a wetter than average week for much of us, but also into sort of parts of northwestern uh, Europe as well, whereas uh, elsewhere with high pressure generally around, we've got a lot of those brown colours there. Taking a look at temperature, this is the um, air mass temperature ensemble. If you want to find more about ensemble forecasting, just click the link up here. So this is the air mass temperature. Um, and you can see sort of over the, the next sort of coming days up until the weekend, temperatures are generally sort of slightly above average. You can see the dotted line there showing the average um, air mass temperature for the time of year. But as we go into Sunday, Monday, and that cold front comes through introducing much cooler air, you can see that red line, the average of the ensemble members dropping below the average for the time of year. So some cooler air on the way. But what I would say, you can see a lot of spread between these different um, members, these different model outputs um, so there's a lot of uncertainty as we go forward in the forecast but from next week it does look to get a little bit more seasonal and that's really shown in this temperature anomaly um, you can see here this is for week two um, so you can see whereas a lot of the sort of previous weeks we've had um, slightly above average temperatures we're back down to those white colors those close to normal temperatures for the time of year 
Looking further ahead, you can see as we go into week three, we've still got this quite weak signal for below average pressure. So suggesting that things will still have a bit of a changeable feel to them. Um, still got low pressure, um, still seeing spells of rain and showers at times. And again, sort of continuing those green colours across the map, indicating wet and average conditions for many places and indeed spreading into parts of central and eastern Europe as well. Um, but in terms of temperature, it looks like we'll be creeping back up to average, um, if not slightly above average, indicated by these pink colours here, higher than average temperatures for many places. Now, as we go into week four, we can see a little bit of a change on the charts. It's a very weak signal at this stage, so confidence is fairly low. But the idea of maybe some um, higher than average pressure sort of building um, from the southwest, so the Azores high sort of strengthening, perhaps ridging into southern areas at times, so maybe bringing something a little bit more settled, although it is still all to play for. And obviously, if that does come off, um, you can see a lot of these brown colours across sort of southern parts of southwestern parts, indeed, of Europe. Um, so indicating that things will be drier than average. But looking at the UK, you can still see we're sort of white colours, green colours, so close to or maybe even slightly wetter than average still. So still maintaining a bit of that changeable feel in the weather forecast. And indeed, with the temperatures, not much change um, from previous weeks, still looking like temperatures are expected to be slightly above average. So to summarise then, over the next few days, many places will stay on the drier side of things, particularly in the south and east, while we do see weak frontal boundaries bringing spells of rain at times to northwestern areas. Then from Sunday, Monday kind of time, things will turn more widely unsettled as that cold front spreads south eastwards and we start to see cooler, more showery conditions following that. Further ahead, low confidence in the forecast at this stage, but it does look to sort of maintain that changeable feel to the weather um, with just the slight hint that things may start to settle down in southern areas as we go towards mid-October. So thanks for watching this week's WeatherQuest farming forecast. It's been great to have you. As always, feel free to get in touch with us on social media. And if you're watching on YouTube, please do leave us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks.